Hello folks, in this video I design and build a basic RC plane as a platform for my Runcam Thumb Pro camera. I tested out my Runcam Thumb Pro on my DMFV Jump Racer. It wasn't an ideal camera platform being inherently unstable and a small plane with non-lifting wings. Carrying the Thumb Pro camera made the Jump Racer quite heavy, so I had to fly it quite fast. This made it difficult for the chase planes to keep up with me. So I decided to build a purpose-built plane that would support the 30 grams of weight from the FPV camera and its battery. I used the construction techniques that I learned from the Canberra Bomber, and that is making a 3D printed fuselage from PLA Plus and the wings from 3mm printing foam that just press fit into the body. I usually transport my planes in this cardboard box, so having removable wings is really useful. This is the basis for the fuselage design, where the wings press fit into slots. These easily remove for transportation, and if you crash the plane they don't get damaged. I designed the fuselage in two sections using FreeCAD. The wings and tail sections slide into 3mm slots. I initially printed the tail section in PLA Plus that came to 12 grams, and I printed the nose and mid section which came to 25 grams. I set about making the wings and tail sections from 3mm printing foam. I printed out the control horns, but then I realised I needed some lengths of carbon fibre rod and piano wire for the push rods. So I made a quick trip into town to pick up the necessary parts from Hearn's Hobbies. I was then able to install the push rods into the plane. Checking the weight distribution revealed that the CG was too far back. I decided that the nose was too short, so I printed out a new version with a longer nose. With all the gear installed, it came to 82 grams, and with the 300 milliamp hour 2S battery, the flight weight came to 103 grams. With my universal wing slot design, I would be able to test this plane with the smaller wings from the Canberra bomber. Finally, I installed the camera mount in front of the wing to bring the CG forward a bit. And here are the specs of the final plane. With perfect flying conditions this morning, my cameraman and I headed off to the park. I let my cameraman test out the flying <laughs> conditions with a couple of my foam planes. Conditions are perfect, so I'm really keen to test out my new FPV plane. Hi, I'm here at the park and I'm ready to try out my new little uh, basic plane which is designed to carry my little rubber cam camera. This is going to be a maiden flight, I'm just doing a CG check. It's a little bit far back, but I think once the camera's on there it should be okay. Just put the wings on like this. I've got a 2S 300 million power battery and a little MC 1104 motor, which has actually got quite a bit of power. It's um, sufficiently lifted up, and uh, we'll see how we this little plane flies. Good luck! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, center of gravity is way out. Okay, okay. I don't have to screw this all the way in, just enough to hold it on. Installing the camera on the plane brought the CG wee way forward. Oh, nice. He's figuring it out. With the camera attached, the CG was a lot better, but I still had too much up trim. It's going to fly like a rocket. <laughs> yeah. I decided to try it with the smaller wings from the camera bomber. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I've got to adjust that too. <laughs> <laughs> I've put a larger battery on the camera. Oh, that looks way more stable, even, yeah. way more stable. <laughs> oh, on the plane? Yeah. Yeah. Once sorted, it flew really well with the smaller wings. I thought I'd give it another go with the larger wings. Uh, 
How does it feel? It feels good. It's trying to make it see how flaky I can make it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> it's so calm. Yeah. It's just the idea that I can fly inside slowly. Yeah. And get to chase me. Yeah. Full throttle and aerobatic testing. Whee! It's got enough power to climb through. That's crazy. Yeah. And here's a glide test. Yeah, it gets, yeah, it gets bouncy. Yeah. Oh, a tree! Oh, no. Here's some footage using the Runcam camera pointing backwards. This will be useful for filming chase planes, and you can also see what controls I'm applying. And here's what it looks like, pointing forwards. Look out for that tree! No harm done. I've travelled to Frankston to test this plane indoors. It's a nice big open space, but it does feel a bit faster inside. A bit fast. It needs some um, flapper on. <clears throat> Smile for the camera. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> Ooh, hey, this is good as a mile. Now, what direction are we flying today? That net there looks like a bit of a hazard. Oh, just missed it. Oh, that's the end of my maiden flight. And from the ground, I was completely oblivious to this net oh that was up there. Oh well. Bit of masking tape and I was back in the air. But it wasn't without incident. I was happily flying around when all of a sudden I lost power. And as you see in this picture here, the propeller actually flies off and I glide to the ground. I'm now at Wantuna with my box of planes. Right, I think we're ready. You gotta fly facing backwards, then. I've got the camera facing backwards, oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna need a, something a bit faster. Oh yeah. Huh? Yeah, that flies well. Yeah. Well, the speed match is pretty good. Here comes my chase plane. I've got two on my tail. And the chase is abandoned. I changed my mind, I'm gonna try it with the smaller wings, which might be a really bad idea. I've put the smaller wings from the Canberra bomber to see how it flies. It's actually flying okay with the smaller wing. Yeah. Bit of an alpha angle, but it's flying. Yeah. It did fly, but it was kind of hanging on the prop. 
Someone asked me what I was going to call this plane, and the name Lark came to mind. So I googled Lark RC plane, and I found a very similar old school Lark, which looked very similar to this. So I think I'll stick with the name Lark. So here are my conclusions about this plane so far. I tested it out in the park to get the CG sorted and see how it fly before I tested it indoors. It flew really well as a park fire in calm conditions. However, when I flew it indoors, it seemed to be a lot faster. My indoor flights at Frankston were quite eventful, first hitting the nets on the maiden flight and then losing the propeller later on. Flying indoors tested my 3D printed fuselage to the limit. I think it's been made a little bit thin to bring the weight down, so I think I'll reprint it with a bit more strength in future. I think I'll give it a little bit more dihedral for stability in the next version and also I will reprint the fuselage making the front section stronger and perhaps elongating the nose a little bit more to bring the CG just a little bit further forward. The knockoff wings have been really great as these enable me to remove the wings for easy transportation and in the event of a crash they just fly off without getting damaged. So what's coming up for Dave's Fun RC? Well, I'm planning to rebuild my Magnum Reloaded using the same techniques that I've used to build this plane. That is, a 3D printed fuselage with press fit wings. When the weather and time permits, I also plan to do some more exploring down the Melbourne Peninsula, exploring slope soaring sites. And I'm still keen to build a 3D printed slope sawer that will fit in a suitcase so I can go slope soaring when I'm on holiday. Finally, look out for my next six monthly indoor aviation video, which I'll be releasing at the end of this month. That's all for now. And as usual, if you'd like to follow my travels through the RC hobby, consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.